Hi guys, it's me, Julia. Welcome back to a new video with me. In today's video, I am finally filming the highly requested day in the life here at Hartbury Equine University. This video has been highly requested ever since I moved out here, so I finally sat down and filmed it for you guys. My day starts at 7.30 in the morning where I march up to the field to collect my horse. Collect stays on the field overnight where I turn him out at around 4pm in the evening and then he stays out until 8 o'clock in the morning. So I always come up there in the morning and start by poo picking his field which he shares with my best friend's horse, Dennis. So me and my friend Katie start by poo picking the field which takes us around 10 to 15 minutes and then we walk them down back into their stables. He gets his breakfast around 8 o'clock in the morning as well as a shower full of hugs and kisses. We like our cuddles in the morning and then I get him ready to ride. Just because I do like riding first thing in the morning, I like to get it done so I have my whole day ready and available for studies and other things that I need to get done. Say my name until the city burns and the stars fade away and your scars don't hurt. Stay with me until the last man falls. I don't need them anyway. When I'm with you, I have it all. Oh, oh I'll never let you slip away. Oh, oh, and you don't have to be afraid. I will hold you till the sun comes crashing down. I'm yours until the end of time ride I decided to ride him on the flat. I think flat work is really really important especially for us show jumpers as well and Cleck and I have been working really hard and improving our flat work lately especially now that we're under lockdown and with all shows being cancelled now anyways we're not really jumping anymore and decided to tune it down a bit and work really hard on improving our flat work and our lateral work. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes 
I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can't hide It's usually around 10 a.m. now and I always wash off his legs and cold hose him, especially now that it's pretty warm in England. It hasn't rained in about 2-3 weeks, which is really unusual. It's been very dry and Clegg has been sweating a lot more than he usually does and his feet always get really dirty from the sandy arena. I am running for you I am running for you I am running for you And then always chuck him on the walker for 10 to 15 minutes so he can walk off a little bit as well as dry off his legs. After the long morning, Kleck now gets to relax in his stable for a few hours before I come back down at 4 o'clock to put him to bed and turn him out. During that time, I usually go up to my room where I sometimes take a nap, do some studying and relax for a few hours. Around 4 o'clock, I then go back down to the stable where I give Kleck his dinner, which he then eats and he's always very, very messy when he eats his food and spills it absolutely everywhere and then hoovers it back up after he's done. And then I grab his rug, his bell boots, and get him ready for the field while he finishes his dinner. At the moment, because it's so warm, he wears this really lightweight turnout sheet. It almost weighs absolutely nothing. It's really warm and it doesn't really cool down that much overnight, so he doesn't really need more. I'm thinking of turning him out completely naked soon. So give me something to do, yeah I can't stay here because I need to dance Jump, jump around and show them how I move Uh-oh-oh uh -oh, uh. Everybody will be on me Wanna join me when I take a shot I'll be the center of attention Like I was some kind of astronaut Cause I'm shooting for the moon tonight and some stupid party Tear the ceiling down in front of everybody If someone's pouring up a drink, I'm calling shoddy 
After then making sure that Clegg's happy and has everything he needs on the field, I then head back down to the stable, which is actually quite a long walk. We timed it and it actually takes 30 minutes to walk up and down to the field, so it actually takes quite a while. And then I head over to his stable and start mucking him out and get everything ready for the morning for when I bring him back in. Having him out overnight has actually made life a lot easier for me because that means I only need to muck him out once a day because when I muck him out in the afternoon, he's obviously out all night so he doesn't trash it and his stable is nice and clean for when he comes back in from the field in the morning. I'm gonna find a crown so I can put it on me Swinging from the chandeliers I won't be sorry I got a feeling I'm gonna crash into this party After I'm then finished with Clegg's hay, water and feed, having his stall all ready for the morning, that concludes my day. I'm usually done by around 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And that is it. That is a day in the life here at Harper Equine University. My life is a little bit different now that I don't have any lectures. Usually I still have lectures um, between my breaks and when I'm not at the yard. But obviously um, lectures are cancelled due to corona. So yeah, this is a day in my life under lockdown here at Harper. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had a really good time filming it. This was such a highly requested video. Let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions, suggestions or video recommendations. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!